Black and White, starring George Martin as Darren, Bros Avard as Bruce, <laughs> and special guest star Prince Harry. Happy birthday, Prince Harry. Happy birthday. I don't want cake. I want that pot I ordered. Oh, your <laughs> highness, you know it arrives tomorrow. Later at Buckingham Palace, Prince William and his sailor boyfriend receive some bad news. A shipment of marijuana is believed to be smuggled into the country earlier today. Detectives Darren and Brose are yet to have figured out who is behind the operation. Oh no, this is bad news for me. Harry? Yes? Do you like me? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Stop looking at me like that, you're freaking me out. Just go and keep a lookout for the cops, would you? My friend the Queen doesn't like you smoking all that pot. The only queen you're friends with is Molly Meldrum. <laughs> Meanwhile, not only is the sailor boy interested in the prince, but the police are also hot on his trail. Sergeant, a large container has just been dropped off to Prince Harry's house. It could be that illegal shipment. Good work, I'll tell Darren right away. Yes? Prince, Prince Harry, hey? Right, I'm on my way. Prince Harry, you're under arrest. Bang, 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 bang! <laughs> Stick him up, Darren. You too, lady. We better do what he says, Darren. Right, I'll just get over here and I'm going to shoot your balls off. <laughs> no. Yep, I am. You don't really mean it. Uh-huh. Bang, bang, bang. Oh! The sailor boy shot off Darren's groin equipment, leaving Darren to contemplate how he's going to replace his personal equipment. I can't believe he shot my groin off. <coughs> yeah, it is. Oh, you should get yourself a groin replacement like I did. The missus loves it. What, an old radio? Uh, don't knock it. When we're going hammer and tongs, there's nothing that gets her more turned on than listening to Skyhooks on radio. Skyhooks? Let me have a listen. Oh, yeah. This is turning me on. You give me some great ideas. Gee, thanks very much for that. Oh, don't mention it. Darren, there's a guy who does groin replacements and he's giving a closing down sale. He's doing major discounts on objects like spatulas, torches, hair dryers, dusters, cucumbers, bratwurst mops, and thermoses, Ken dolls. He's Quick, closing in half an hour. Quick, let's go. Oh, so Darren and Bruce race off to the groin replacement closing down sale. If these are as good as it says, I might get one myself. What do you think about a Logie? Bruce, watch out! Oh, shit. Oh, oh, no! Brace, you bloody idiot! Oh, aren't I the duffer? <laughs> Damn, I think I'm running out of time. 15 minutes till close. I'm gonna have to get there on foot. Okay, I'll see you later. So Darren heads to the groin replacement closing down sale on foot. But is he too late? Sorry, we're closed. Look, I'm really desperate. My groin's been shot off. Oh, well, really? Here, have a look. <laughs> I see your problem. Come in there. <laughs> All I've got left is this candle holder. A candle holder? I was thinking of maybe a Logie. <laughs> I'm sorry, old chum. We're sold out. Oh, looks like I've wasted my time. I'm going to save myself some embarrassment and leave by the back. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, okay, what's going on here? We're on our way to the closing down sale to get a groin replacement. That's no excuse for reckless driving. But the range was so impressive. Not that impressive. And how would you know? Because <laughs> I happen to have one. Well, I bet it isn't as good as the ones he's got. Now, just wait a minute here. <laughs> well, is it? Now, come on. Mine happens to be detachable. I'm going to belt you with it. <laughs> and that was the men in black and white.